Hi, everyone. So for today's lesson, you're going to be taking two different sets of notes, okay? One, we're going to be covering erosion and deposition by wind. Then we're also going to be covering glaciers. And then lastly, um, in step three of your activities, you're also going to cover the notes for rivers, okay? It's a lot of vocabulary for today. And um, like I said, you'll also have the opportunity to review your vocabulary at the end. Um, so before we actually start with our slides, what I wanted to show you first is the way that the, the notes, the way I set them up, I tried to make it easier for you to understand so that I put it in more of like a concept map. So it's like you can visually see that when we're talking about, for example, wind erosion, it involves these three words, saltation, deflation, and abrasion. All three of these words um, have to do with wind erosion. Erosion, again, is the idea of sediment that moves from one place to another, okay? If you scroll down to the bottom, then you'll also see wind de deposition. Deposition means what happens to sediment once it settles. And when it settles, it creates two different things. One is called loess, and then the second one is called dunes. This third box over here is just telling you that, that the, how the dunes move, okay, and, why, and, and in what direction that they move in, okay? So that's how your notes are set up for today. And as you're going through it, you can double click on here, and that's how you would actually type in into the box right there, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So for wind, um, really what we're talking about wind is simply just what landforms are created, when that wind blows, and it moves that sediment, okay? So the very first word for wind erosion is going to be saltation. Now, let me put this in presentation mode, sorry. If you're looking at wind erosion and you're looking at the word saltation, you'll notice that right here it says the wind is moving in the direction from left to right. And so therefore that sediment is also going to move from left to right. But it doesn't actually just move straight. It actually, because of gravity and because of the mass, that particle, it's actually going to be bouncing across. Okay. And they call that saltation. Um, I, I found a video of it where it's moving really, really, um, where it's moving very quickly in a wind tunnel, but I, what I want you to do is to like to capture your eye or have your eye on just one of these little pieces of sediment, and then you'll notice that it really does skip and bounce. Okay, so take a look here. Okay, so if you just look right here, it's kind of hard to do it in, in fast motion, but you can see how the, the rocks right here, they kind of get caught up in the air and then they bounce, okay, and that's what saltation is. Okay, all right, the second word is something called deflation, where it sounds very similar to like if you're deflating a balloon, um, let's say like you have a, a birthday balloon and you deflate the birthday balloon, you literally, you, what you're doing is you're letting all of the air out. And that's actually what happens here as well. So when, when you're talking about deflation, it's you're talking about when that wind blows, it removes all the sediment off the pavement, okay? And when it does that, it creates two different things one of which is called desert pavement, which desert pavement is simply just the surface of small pebbles and rocks. Okay, this, the, the surface of small pebbles and rocks. Okay, and you also have something called deflation hollow, which is the same idea except you're covering a larger area. Um, I like to compare this to like when we learned about the Dust Bowl, you may have like an area uh, that is covered by soil and um, here, like you'll have bushes on the ground. Below, you could see that, you could see the roots. So this is what it looks like before, but then all of a sudden this wind comes and it blows in this direction. Again, you can think about the Dust Bowl because they had very, very high winds during that time. And then what's left here is you've got this like hollow bowl. Um, and that's what's, this right here is what's called a deflation hollow. And you definitely did see those a lot during the Great Depression and during, um, uh, the Dust Bowl, okay? Okay, the last one is called abrasion, which we learned about abrasion when we learned about mechanical weathering, which is simply just the grinding away of rocks by rock surfaces by other rocks or sand particles, because as the wind blows, that sediment is coming in and it's rubbing and grinding against um, some of the softer rock. So what you might have here is you've got these strong winds, you've got this rock that started out like a big, big rock right here. But then because of that wind abrasion, that wind blows and then it removes the softer rock, okay? Like basically almost like the outer 
outer areas of it. And um, it also will remove any sand that is not settled down. So like any loose sand. And so over time, what happens is that that rock that used to look like a solid form, actually now it has been blasted away, okay, by abrasion. So again, these are all three words that are associated by wind erosion. Okay, we're going to move on to wind deposition. Wind deposition is simply just the idea of when wind is blowing in the area, at some point it's going to have to settle down um, and and it's going to have to settle down. And when it does settle down, it creates um, something called loess, which is this fine grain sediment. You can also almost think of like baby powder where it gets deposited by the wind. The other last um, landform that's created is something called dunes, which you may have seen maybe at the beach if you've ever gone to the beach or if you've actually had the pleasure of ever visiting a desert, then you might see these sand dunes that are created by wind deposition. Okay, the last thing that you just need to complete here is just that the way that the dunes um, move and the way that they move is just simply they move in the direction of the wind, meaning if the wind is coming in this way, it's going to be blowing that sand dune also in that direction as well. Okay. So in our next video, I'm going to cover glaciers.